watching Living Well on WMBD. Tales of Adventure, that's the theme for this week's must-see films at Landmark Cinemas. The one is pure fiction, the other a true story. Joining me now with more about them is our resident movie critic, Zach Washburn. Welcome back, Zach. Thanks for having me, Evelyn. Always good to see you. Well, let's start with the adventurous tale your kids will enjoy, Wildlife. In the middle of the ocean, there lies an island where animals rule. Is there anything you wouldn't eat? Until the day. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What's up there, Mac? I'm not sure what it is. They got an unexpected visitor. Oh, land, sweet land. <laughs> you need to find out what these newcomers' intentions are. Look, he's stripped off his skin. It's hideous. I'm going to be sick. Uh-oh. This movie is actually a story about the life of Robinson Crusoe, which you wouldn't necessarily get from the title of it. Now, tell us, how closely does it follow the book? Uh, not very closely at all. Okay, all righty. <laughs> uh, I think that they, they really they, uh, kind of wanted to adapt uh, Robinson Crusoe a little more for the kids. Uh, and this is Robinson Crusoe's uh, as told from the perspective of the animals. I love uh, that. Which, of course, never really happened uh, in the novel. Sure, sure. Uh, what's really is great about this film uh, is that it's being uh, made by an independent Belgian uh, animation studio, InWave. Uh, and they've really, they've only done a couple of films. Mm -hmm. uh, and they really have put up something that's comparable to, you know, a Disney Pixar or a DreamWorks animation. Cool. Uh, where the quality of this animation is really fantastic. The story, I thought, uh, really left something to be desired. Oh. Uh, you know, and of course that's the thing, is that a Disney Pixar is always is going to have the greatest writers. And yeah. they put enough in there to really make the adults want to watch an animated gotcha. movie. This Not one so is much. really geared towards the kids. Not uh, so okay. if you've got a five to ten year old, they're probably going to love they're it. They're going to love it. You might have a hard time sitting through it as an adult. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. Well, the next film tells the real story of Captain Chelsea Sully Sullenberger's miraculous landing in New York's Hudson River after U.S. Airways Flight 1549 struck a flock of geese. Here's that trailer. No one warned us. No one said you were going to lose both engines at a lower altitude than any jet in history. This was dual engine loss at 2,800 feet followed by an immediate water landing with 155 souls on board no one has ever trained for an incident like that. Now, I remember when this incident happened, and this is something that was not that long ago. Right, yeah, this is 2009, and surprisingly, I have absolutely zero recollection of this ever appearing in the news, on television. I don't remember the book being released, but wow, did they make a fantastic movie about it. Wow. Uh, Tom Hanks delivers just a stunning performance uh, it's really, I mean, you know, of course, all focused on him as, you know, the pilot, uh, you know, of the, you know, the miracle on the Hudson. Uh, just what a fantastic job he did. Of course, Aaron Eckhart uh, is the co-star, is co-pilot, uh, and the two of them really work well together. Uh, Clint Eastwood directing. I mean, this was an absolutely fantastic movie. Uh, the way that they edited things, uh, you know, you kind of start off between dreams, uh, you know, going to his hearing, flashbacks of, you know, of the plane, and they really just show how the whole crew of this flight came together uh, to make sure that not a single person was lost wow. uh, in this crash landing. Well, I was watching m morning news <laughs> and I saw it and I was thinking, oh wow, what a, I'll have to check that one out. Sounds like a good one. Well, the classic feature this week is Gone with the Wind. Here's a look at Clark Gable and Vivian Lee, one of their iconic scenes. Gone with the Wind has captured the imagination and acclaim of the entire world. The screen has never known a love story to compare with this when Rhett Butler meets Scarlett O'Hara. I love you more than I've ever loved any woman. And I've waited longer for you than I've ever waited for any woman. Scarlett, kiss me. Kiss me once. Now, I've seen this many times. I'm sure you have too. But for those who haven't, why is this a must-see movie? Uh, well, this has been in the AFI's uh, top 100 films of all time 
for probably as long as the, the American Film Institute has been around. Uh, and of course, it really it just, it's got so much in it, uh, you know, between, you know, this kind of, you know, star of Clark Gable and, you know, the romance between them. Uh, there's, you know, still some action for the guys. It's, a, you know, this history a, uh, that's behind it. It's really, yeah, it's really got cool. everything. You gotta see it. You gotta see it. Uh, it well, is four hours long, but we're only charging $2 at the door. You can't uh, you're do not going to get a better deal than that. You sure won't. Well, you can see the movies that we mentioned today at Landmark Cinemas. Their address is listed on your screen. For movie times, just call 309-682-6356 or visit LandmarkRexCinemas.com.